Okay, where does it start? Well, it started when I was knee high to grasshopper. My father was a, a well-esteemed um, general practitioner, family practitioner. He just thought that art was more of a hobby. I was uh, persuaded to um, become a nurse. Um, at one point, um, I went to work in the Middle East. I was working in Saudi Arabia, where I was actually in the emergency room as a midwife. Um, while I was in Saudi Arabia, I uh, met my husband. He said, well, now's your chance. Let's go for it. Do the art. So with his support, it's allowed me to start creating. And it's been wonderful. When, when people look at my art, I would like it to be an interactive process. I like to um, leave a question so that they can form their own story or form their own ending. So although my art is uh, fairly narrative, there should be an area where they can weave their own story into that. So for example, my recipe series downstairs, I started putting together recipes, uh, not entirely sort of by ingredients, but just by collections, so that they resonate. So for example, a lady came into the shop and she, my gallery, and said, um, you know that apple pie, my mom, my mom absolutely loves apple pie. And um, that resonated for her. And then the s'mores that I did resonated with camping with her kids when they were younger. So that's what I want. Normally the work that I do, um, you have the model or the object in front of you, so therefore it's important that you capture that. Um, with the abstract, you've got a blank sheet of paper and everything has to come out of here and out of here and it's a completely different angle and it's just as exciting and it's just as challenging. Um, you have to make more of the color and of the composition uh, in order to lure the viewer and guide them around the picture, um, whether it's by composition, by color, by pattern, by plane. You know, so I love art because it's so subjective, you know? People, are, you know, they either love abstract, or they like narrative, or they like um, realism. I mean, there's so many different genres. There's pointillism, there's impressionistic. There's, I mean, you can get lost in art. When you get up in the morning, nature has already created a palette for you. You go outside, the landscape is a palette, okay? Everything is art, wherever you look. Interior designers create the art inside. Mother Nature creates the art outside. Art architects create the urban landscape. You know, it's all art.